Welcome to Tab Briefs, a weekly look at headlines from the world of faith for December 4th, 2020. Can you really believe it's December? We're here. I'm Tab Media Content Editor Carrie McWhorter, and here are some of the headlines that grabbed our attention this week. First up, protests in Poland. We reported on this a few weeks ago, but protests in Poland continue following an October 22nd constitutional court ruling. That's the, the Polish equivalent of the Supreme Court banning abortions because of congenital defects. The demonstrations have brought thousands of people to the streets of hundreds of Polish towns in recent weeks, and those clashes have been violent in many uh, cases. It's the largest protest movement in Poland since communism fell in the country 30 years ago. Poland already had one of the most restrictive abortion laws in, the Euro in Europe, certainly, and, and really globally. They negotiated that abortion law in the early 1990s between political and Catholic church leaders. That 27-year-old law allowed abortions only in the cases of fetal defects, risk to a woman's health, and in cases of incest or rape. Amid the protests, the government has not actually implemented the most recent court ruling that removes the congenital defects the, the congenital defects exception. In the United States, a new report from the Centers for Disease Control finds that the number of abortions performed here in the country rose slightly in 2018 after reaching historic lows in 2017. The CDC's annual abortion surveillance report was released November 27th and includes data from 2018, the latest year, for which information is available. Reporting abortion data to the CDC is not mandatory, so year-to-year -year totals are a little hard to compare. But among the 49 reporting areas that voluntarily provided data, a total of 619,591 abortions were reported. Those reporting areas included 47 states, the District of Columbia, and New York City, but not California, Maryland, or New Hampshire. The CDC analysis from those 48 areas that reported data each year from 2009 to 2018 found a 1% increase in abortion rates from 2017 to 2018. Women in their 20s accounted for nearly two-thirds of all U.S. abortions, and the majority of those were performed at less than nine weeks into pregnancy, according to the report. For the past 10 years, the CDC, the CDC says approximately three-fourths of abortions were performed at less than nine weeks into pregnancy. A bit of good news, however, is that abortions among teenagers continue to decline, as do births among this age group. From 2009 to 2018, national birth data indicates that the birth rate for adolescents 15 to 19 years old decreased 54%, and the abortion rate for the same age group decreased 55%. Finally, COVID-19 continues to take a great toll on lives across the globe. According to Johns Hopkins, global deaths have exceeded 1.5 million and nearly 3,000 Americans died from COVID-19 on December 1st, the most fatal day in the U.S. since mid-April. In the midst of the pandemic, Americans face decisions regarding Thanksgiving celebrations. And now we're here in December looking ahead to Christmas celebrations with many of the same questions. According to LifeWay Research, Almost all American adults, 93%, say they celebrate Christmas. Protestants and Catholics are more likely to honor Christmas, but even religiously unaffiliated Americans and those of other religions say they celebrate on December 25th. What will those celebrations look like this year? For the most part, the LifeWay Research Survey found Christmas celebrations will look pretty much the same, especially when it comes to going to church. Among American adults who typically go to church during Christmas, half of those surveyed said they are as likely to go this year as in any other year. And young adults ages 13, I mean 18 to 34, say they are actually more likely to, uh, to attend a Christmas church service this year. And many Americans say they are more reflective this year, which spills over into their spiritual lives. One in five Americans say they expect their spiritual reflection on the season to increase this year. And among those who say they are religiously unaffiliated, 10% say the pandemic has made them more likely to spend time in spiritual reflection during the holidays this year. 
You can read the full survey from LifeWay at our website or at LifeWayResearch.com. And you can hear how some Alabama Baptist churches are adapting their Christmas celebrations this year in our latest podcast. Go to tabonline.org slash podcasts and listen to Tab Talks, Christmas at Church During a Pandemic. You'll be really interested. And I'll put all those links in today's show notes so you can find them easily.